If you would like to give it a go, raise your hand and say, yeah, Laura, pick a card from me. I am ready to talk for one minute live on LinkedIn about something that I am completely unprepared to talk about. So, and, and then to discuss a little bit about the process. Yeah, yeah. So when you're ready, raise your hand to do that. And it looks like Ariel is ready to do this. So let's bring yeah, Ariel. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for your bravery and for hopping on. And since you only have 15 minutes... What do we say? Uh, uh, I pick a card for you right away, and then I will cut you off after 60 seconds. Sound Great. good? Yeah, I will try. Okay, mm-hmm. you're getting a random card. I just shuffled, and your word is boat. Boat. Boating is a great pastime. One of the most amazing parts about boating is the kind of intense quiet that you can experience when you're out on the water, assuming you're not on a party boat, assuming that it's not a huge cruise. If you do go boating and it's a intimate experience, uh, the, the quiet that can, that can come with that is sometimes uh, almost can be unnerving because it's just so different than what we all experience on a day-to-day basis. One of my favorite moments with boating having to do with that type of silence actually was when I uh, went off the back of a boat uh, up into the air on attached to a parasail. And when you are up that high the and, and birds are flying by you, it is a surreal experience and I absolutely uh, recommend it to all. And you're done. That was 60 seconds and brilliantly done, Ariel. Let's give Ariel a big round of applause for having the bravery to pop on and pop her mouth off for 60 seconds nonstop without any preparation whatsoever. Ariel, how did that feel? Oh, it, you know, it's, it's always a little bit anxiety producing when you don't know exactly what you're going to be talking about. That said, it's been a minute since I've had the opportunity to to play with improv, and I enjoy it so much. And it's just such a to me, it's a wonderful mental exercise that just kind of keeps you on your feet. And I I have to say I do enjoy that. I tell you, this is a really simple exercise, and it is so low risk. As a public speaking coach, it's one way to create this environment where people can get up and practice their speaking, get their mouth moving, get warmed up and do some uh, talking yeah, and speaking. Yeah. And it also creates a more convivial environment for people because they say, oh, it's low risk. I'm not talking about third quarter sales or customer focus meetings. I am talking about a boat. <laughs> you know? You're not going to really lose with a, a topic like that. One, one thing I, was, I, I, I appreciated, Ariel, was... The, you use this improv principle of, of when it's your turn, you're in charge. So the word was boat, but you went to boating, which made perfect sense. So one of the, the lessons from, from the, uh, the, the improv uh, learning is that when it's your turn, you have control. So in the nature of the game, it does, didn't really make a difference. And the fact that you started that way and, and you adapt, adapted to what you needed um, was impressive. And that you, you really demonstrated that skill, and again, that's that's the sk- one of the skills that's being that that's being taught here. We only have about eight more minutes, and so we have two more folks. So, Laura, I don't know how. Yeah, exactly let me. Yeah, let's part. invite Suzanne up. Suzanne, you ready? You ready to come on up and give it a, a whirl? I am. Hi, Hi Suzanne. Suzanne. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> I see from your profile that you're a keynote speaker and writer. I am, I am, and an improv comedian. So. Oh, oh! So you're going to be totally ready for this one minute thing. Well, no, but never is totally ready, right? <laughs> because you—that's the beauty of improv. Yeah. You can only prepare so much. All right, are you ready? I'm shuffling away here, shuffling away. I'm excited. Okay. Your phrase is "suck up." I am an expert sucker upper because this is how you get to what you want in life. It's not about being the best at what you are doing. It's all about getting the right level of suck up to the right level of person, 
right? So when you are thinking about how do I sell this product, what you should be really thinking about is what will make this vice president I'm trying to sell to feel better about himself. And that is the art of sucking up. Is it, oh, you look so nice today, or is it, oh, I saw your LinkedIn part, post, and I did agree with what you said. Or is it, can you believe that, uh, that they found water on Mars? Wow. And then the guy feels like, oh, clearly she thinks I'm a science person, which... And time! <laughs> Suzanne Lucas, give it up for Suzanne! <laughs> For popping on stage and telling a 60-second story about a suck-up, which actually made me laugh at certain points. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a good, it was a good prompt, and I thought, what would I do with boats? <laughs> so I was hoping no boats. So I didn't get boats. Well, I think that you could develop an entire keynote speech on the germ of this idea of how the secret of success is sucking up. Sure, yeah. Without, without being known as a stuck-up. Right, now that's the real key right that's there. That's the key, right, right. That's the yeah. tough part. <laughs> right. How to, how to uh, reach success by sucking up by not appearing that you're sucking up. Um, there you go, that's a, that's a great that's a, a quick question before we get into to, to another person. Uh, wh how was that for you and, and uh, any... Any um, insights into what got you started or kept going or? Uh... Um, you know, it's just, I, I just start talking because mm -hmm. exactly. in, in improv, you don't have time to think and the thinking is what paralyzes you. So I just start going and, you know, like there, there's no wrong in improv. Everything you do is right. So just open your mouth and let stuff come out. And the worst that will happen is you say something ridiculous. But that's also the best that can happen, right? That's the funny part. Right. Yeah. Good job. I want to pull that out as a pull quote. That is just wonderful. We only have five minutes left, and we have two people who want to speak, so I'm going to invite them on stage. But just want to let you know that if we do run a little long, uh, we are offering this game called Sponto Time. You can get it at spontotime.com. It's a deck of 54 cards. They have prompts on them. There are three suits. The suits are purple, orange, and green. The greens are environments. The orange cards are problems. And the purple cards are personalities. So we play a variety of improv games with these cards. All the prompts are kid-friendly and they're business-friendly so that you can use these uh cards in a coaching session or a training session and we also have all sorts of games and rules and you can download it as well so let's jump into michelle michelle has been asking to speak and waiting patiently for such a long time so let's bring michelle on stage and i am going to say this is michelle baron is that correct? You could take yourself off the m word baron 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 but no worries <laughs> hi michelle baron and your tag says it's a life designed with wow. So you got a wow us, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's do it. Okay, I'm going to pull a random card for you. And it says camp. I love the camp experience. And if you haven't had it because you're scared of the creepy crawlies or being outside and touching dirt or having to be in a bathroom that is less than ideal. I get it because there are some kind of gross elements to camp, but it's also part of what makes it so wonderful. How often do we get to get away from all of our things, our, our comforts? And, you know, there are those glampers, so you can even do this if you really just can't even get over it. There are those glampers. I'm not a glamper. I want to camp. I want a bonfire. I want to make it from sticks from the ground up. Not throw turpentine on it and let it explode. A little fire that can keep you warm, brings people in, and helps them create community around this natural world that we 
tend to forget about. Thank you. 30, or your 60 <laughs> seconds are up, and that was lovely. Absolutely lovely. How did it feel? Come take yourself, bring your mic back, and tell me how that really felt for you. You know what? I That was so fun for me because this has been such a journey, and pre-pandemic, I mean, I discovered social audio on Clubhouse, and pre-pandemic, I would have never done any of this stuff. Um, so I had, I had a ton of fun and it almost felt, it was a great topic for me because I honestly, I am a huge outdoor enthusiast, but, but to know that this work, you can get better at it, even when you're not there yet, that's, uh, I'm, I'm proud of me right now. So, yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> I'm proud of you too. Well, give it up for, for give it up for Michelle. I, I just say, Michelle, quickly before we go on, you can practice this by yourself every day with no one else. You can just be walking down the street. Uh, let's say you're, 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 you're on a hike and you just, you say, okay, I'm going to do um, a one minute, approximately one minute story about, oh, look around, oh, leaves. Okay. And you just start doing that. And, and you, you, you test yourself so you can practice anytime, anywhere um, with, and uh, just to build that skill. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll, I'll tell you, touch. I'll tell you that one of the, yeah. yeah. I'll tell you one of my secrets is, when I woke, wake up in the morning and I have to do a Zoom meeting, I have a craggy voice and, you know, you're a little addled because, oh, you know, I just woke up, but I have to hop into this meeting. I will take a few minutes out to play these games out loud by myself in the office to get my mouth moving, clear up my throat, clear up my brain, and then I'm ready to go into that meeting because I've developed some lateral thinking skills. So it's it's been a really helpful exercise for me. And I see that Anthony wants to speak. I know our time is up, but we're going to continue going a little longer so that Anthony can play too. If you have to leave, I totally get it. I totally understand. This is only a half-hour event. But I want to welcome Anthony to the stage. Hello. Do you hear me? I hear you beautifully. All right. All right. And it says that you're a bilingual master of ceremonies. Yes. (laughs) How do you do long? French and English. Terrific. Could you do us a favor, and when I pull a card for you, do it in English for us? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to speak in some French, too, that'll be fine. But, okay, here we are. I'm shuffling. You hear me shuffling? It's going to happen. Random I card. Shuffling. Random card. Hair salon. Hair salons. Now, as a man, I, the ways, the, what I see often is when I go to hair salons, they're like a McDonald's order. I go in and I go out. But one thing that's interesting is actually taking these small moments as going into the hair salon and actually living an experience. Now, if you talk about these experiences, it's in these little moments in time that you're able to actually get into a safe space, get into a safe zone, and just enjoy the moment. And I think that's something that every one of us needs. Uh, on a daily basis, and we don't take that time. So let's take that hair salon. Let's take that, uh, uh, take uh, mowing the lawn, taking doing the dishes, and instead of turning it into basically just another task to do, but actually use that time as an experience to get back in touch with yourself and discover new things. Let's give it up for Anthony. Yay. <laughs> Thank you, Anthony. And how did it feel to be suddenly speaking about something that you had no clue what it was going to be? I, um, it, it was great. Uh, I don't have a chance to improvise as much because usually I got texts and everything's provided for me and it's all about preparation. And one thing I've noticed is that uh, one, one technique I use often is taking something and referring it back to what I'm comfortable with and not being in that uh, in that zone of not knowing to go. So you take whatever you got and you just kind of go flow with it and then you go back into something that you find that's important. Yeah, yeah. What I like about improv too is here we are in this age of AI and sometimes you read a text and say, geez, did AI write that? Did they? <laughs> but here we know definitely that AI did not write what you said. This came from you. This was an authentic human interaction and I really like that. Thank you. It was great. It was fun. Thank you. (laughs) Well, this is the sort of thing we can do. uh, And we play. This is just one of many games that we play with these cards. And uh, we'll come online at another point and do another session where we play some games and invite people on stage.